bonus. A seriously non-serious moment, but take it for what it is. Um, goddesses. And this is not skin color related. Goddesses. Especially those of y'all with children. The overwhelm that you hear me talk about all the time is out here, and I'm just leaving the grocery store, and I've seen it in at least three different um, women in here, especially the ones with small children. Y'all are tired. And you might not admit it, and so I'm gonna take this message away from you and put it on your counterparts, because in this day and age, you can't just say the men. But for your significant other, in the sense where I'm gonna say a man, especially if you got children, if there is a man who fathered them children, yeah, damn, can he do that? Damn, y'all got shit fucked up out here. Okay, so in the sense to where whoever is the parental unit that helped create the child with you, even if y'all not together, check in on them. Um, even if you're at odds with them, check in on them, even if it's in the fashion of, hey, you know, I'm come by and get the kids for a little while, just to give them a moment to breathe. Because you're not only helping her you're helping your children and you're also helping yourself especially if you're involved in your children's life you're helping yourself because you're um, learning to um, depressurize an already pressurized environment but i just got through um walking out of the store behind this this one woman and she had these two small children and she's tired and i'm not just talking energetic assessment i'm talking about holy shit but yet she had a cart full of pumpkins and carving and stuff because she's still trying to do stuff to keep the children entertained. And this is kind of the reason why I'm making this video is that a lot of people are at a point to where they are so overwhelmed in themselves that they're trying to do everything they can to make sure that their family doesn't eat that energy. But I'm here to tell you they're eating the energy. I'm not telling you to stop trying to do things to entertain, entertain your children and take them out to the park or do fun activities. I'm saying make sure you take care of you as much as you're trying to make the attempt to take care of everybody else. You cannot pour from a half empty glass. And my last little tidbit, stop waiting on somebody else to fill your cup or glass. If you are in a situation, relationship, marriage, condition, I don't give a fuck, your side piece, your sneaky link. If you are sharing your energy with somebody who is not putting you back on full, first of all, Stop that expectation, but stop giving your energy into empty shit and empty all that shit and pour more into you and then find your reciprocity. It's hard. At least find somebody else who ain't going to play with your time so much until you stop playing with your time altogether. But again, the gist of this message was to the, to the fellas, primarily check in on your women, even if that ain't your woman no more. Especially if they got your children. Hell, check in on your sisters. Check in on your mother. Check in on grandma. Check in on your children. We got to do better. Y'all got to stop eating so much energy. I was having a conversation in the store with a couple of, um, older women of a different color, which is rare nowadays, but we all had the same agreement. We got to stop supporting the system. We were talking about the cost of groceries and shit like that. We got to stop supporting the system. They supporting us. And that ain't got nothing to do with choosing a goddamn party. Because the party is diddying us all. Take that, take that. However the fuck you want it.